B Lover, bringing it back. What's up, Florida? B Lover. All right? All right, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, crew, yeah, everyone. Dykes. <coughs> uh, All right. We have, it, a lot of you guys have done this. Um, the uh, Fire and King uh, Glenn Fiddick edition. Um, Who's I, done that? I don't know. I've seen videos around. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen shit. Maybe I just don't stay tuned into none of that shit. <clears throat> but anyway, so I picked the shit up, I don't know, a little while ago. Told my brother, I'm going to get you one. I did. I guess you never opened it. No, no, I have it there. And so I love the color of the bottle, the presentation. Yeah, Glenn Fiddick is, is king when it comes to presentation. Yeah, so this is part of the experimental series. This is the number four. I think we've done, we did the, um, the, I, uh, the IPA. IPA. The IPA cast, double X. the double X, and then I don't know what's the other one, but this one. Oh, the winter something that we don't have. I can't find it in Florida. Yeah, but this experimental one is pretty cool. It's uh, 42%, um, and uh, it's got some peat and cherry, which, which is why they call it uh, Fire and Cane. And so, um, with no further ado, I don't know anything about it except that I love it. And so, smell that, bro. Tell me what you smell. Very mild on the nose. I don't know. We've been pounding a fucking Lafroy triple cast. <laughs> uh, yeah, the triple what wood. What else? Uh, we've been fiddling with some shit. I was flirting earlier. Well, I mean, we had well, obviously we had the battlefield. Battlefield, we McCallum had, twelve, McCallum twelve that we've been hitting. Um, so uh, the, uh, the, the Christmas <clears throat> edition. Yeah, the Christmas malt for from the whiskey exchange. And so, forgive us right now if we're just a little bit um, incoherent. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Yourself. Your mother's here and she hates you. Yeah. <laughs> she told me you she were an me. error. <laughs> you were a fucking mistake in her life. You could have been a better mom for me <laughs> if you weren't around. That was sometimes the things you find in life are not the ones you love the most. <laughs> Anyhow, I showed up at about 2 p.m. here in Orlando. I traveled about two and a half hours from Miami. Uh, I, I hit it up with a Lafroy triple cast, uh, triple wood, uh, to be more precise. It's an exquisite, exquisite. I love that. Brand. Shit. I love so it. That Colina 18 is good too. Yeah. Uh, you know, normally we don't hit it off with uh, peaty stuff, uh, despite the fact that we're the the, <clears throat> the peat lovers. The peat lovers. But we tend to, uh, you know, take the sweet and the sherries first, and then you know finish up with a peat. Uh, but this wasn't the case. I came in, you know, I needed a little bit of a boost. The kids were fucking screaming in the back. I was averaging about a buck, a buck ten. Shut the, the fuck up. Nobody cares about the details. Let's dive in. So this shit right here, bro, is really light amber. Bro, if I have to tell Burnt them about oil, if you want to ask me. If I have to tell them about your real life, we're going to have to shut off the channel. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> You don't tell anybody about my wooden dick. I won't tell, tell you about this. This bitch pulling us in your mouth. Yeah. You know, I don't want to blow it. I normally have a beer or a bottle of water around. To, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Bro, this shit looks fucking nice, man. It's a nice color. Uh, but based on the nose, I'm picking up a lot of, uh, not a lot, a little bit of smoke. Uh, it's definitely got some smoke to it. Now, let's now, see. Like, I'm going to tell you. Well, I just have some There's nothing else. I mean, you don't smell a lot of anything else but the smoke, though. It, it is a smell. It's a really mild scent. There's maybe some like cinnamon. <clears throat> Definitely a little bit of spices, but no, I pick up a lot of smoke. You know, you you get smoke, but you get some sweetness to it. It's almost like a cinnamon pepper, something like that. You know, <clears throat> but it's a really delightful no nose. No, it's great. It's great. Look, I won't even say. I keep saying this to my brother. This is probably one of the best Glenn Fittings I've ever had. And I've had them, I've had a lot of them. I had a lot of Glenn Fittings. And so, you, you know, take a shot. You know, I mean, probably every single one of them. If you ask me, the 30, the 21, the 18, um, well, fuck, we've done the 12, 15, the 15, 12, the Solera, the, the I mean, 14. I mean, there's so many of them. You know, I can't believe I'm drinking this and it's coming out of a Glenn Fittick bottle. Mm. I'm glad they brought this in. You know, there's, there's mm. a lot of peaty stuff out there. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But we're trying to line this up mm-hmm. with uh, with Rob. Shout out to Rob. We're just getting six. Yeah, for the for those of you that uh, suffer from gingivitis, this is good for your gums. No, this is great, man. It's like nice and sweet coming in, uh, and you have like an explosion of smoke, but really subtle. Like it's really it, good. It just it pounds you right away, but it goes away within a few seconds. I wonder what triggered these guys to uh, go into the smoky side. I don't know, man, but they've done a great job. I think they've done a fantastic job. I'm actually really impressed with the product. Uh, I hope it doesn't go away. I hope it's one of those from the experimental series that actually sticks around because um, it's a really, really interesting. But, you know, to say the least, the nose really almost confirms everything in your palate, though. So you get the smoke in the nose, you get some of that peppery, um, you know, cinnamon, smell in your nose and, and then really when you sweet. drink it yeah when you drink it it's really sweet coming in and it hits you boom like all the smoke is pretty fucking awesome yeah uh, i think this is the cheapest out of the experimental lineup because the double x is like 90 bucks yeah and the double x wasn't bad the ipa i will probably never do again I'd rather, no, do, no. I'd rather do a jameson ipa and i have a brand new bottle of the ipa because i bought two thinking that you know but I really would. Well, the bottle looks great. Their bottle, you know. Yeah, the presentation is great. Glenfiddich does a really good job, you know, on, when it comes to the, the aesthetics of how things look, the color, all that other shit, and keeping the bottle consistent. Uh, that's great. But um, IPA. Yeah. The bottle. PR department is really good when yeah. it comes to that. Um, this is really sweet. Now, the question is, as always, non age statement, how the shit is really is. I don't know, but it's 43% little alcohol. You really don't taste a lot of the alcohol because you're, you're so taken over by the smoke and the sweet that the alcohol kind of disappears in the background. So I think it's a phenomenal dram. Um, you know, if I have to pick between something like this and, I don't know, <clears throat> maybe that... Um, this, this is a type of whiskey. This one I have right here, which is a, like a peat and sherry. I think I like this one better. Uh, this is the real type of whiskey you don't want to introduce to someone that has never drank whiskey before because they're gonna be like oh my god this is so like you know up the chart you know whatever mm-hmm. uh, this is for someone that had already tried some of the whiskeys before including the blends you know yeah. the doers the Johnny Walkers the uh, JMB and of course the uh, what's the name of that fucking ranch shit um, that you know better. <laughs> Grant. No, Grant is good. Grant comes from this family. Yeah. Um, Kutisar. Kutisar. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, guys. Um, I don't even know what to say, without man. Without badgering anything or anybody for that matter, or any distiller for that matter, uh, Kutisar is uh, it, uh, it's at a different level. Um, I really don't want to put a name or a tag to it. Um, it's just... Um, you really have to try it. It's like the real level on the uh, Johnny Walker lineup. <clears throat> well, I don't know, man. What do you think, bro? I really like this product. I really like it. I really like it a lot. For 60 bucks, I think it's fine. Oh, 60? That's just 40 bucks. Oh, it is? Yeah. What the fuck? The Triple X was like 80 or 90. And then the uh, winter one, the one with the white bottle, remember? That one you can't find. And if you do, it's like well above 100. Oh, yeah, I know the Snow Phoenix. No, 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 there's another white oh, okay. one like this. No, I don't know then. Yeah, know which one no, Snow is. Phoenix is out. Yeah, the Snow Phoenix is a collectible item. I, have, I still have a little bit of it. Really? That's just probably my like, right now. It's been too long. But anyway, for the South Florida Pilos, man, I think this is a thumbs up. You want some peat and sherry. Uh, kind of stuff. By the way, you know, Julian, Happy New Year's, bro. Uh, you know, phone peat and sherry. This is it right here. I think it's a great dram. Great I think it's one of the shit. He's into the Macallan 25s and 30s and all that. Well, you know what? I don't um, know how it is. You know, yeah, he t- went from teaching to some uh, uh, life t- science t- NASA shit. Uh, he could triple his income, and uh, now he's, uh, you know, batting 500 average. So, yeah. Well, you know, for the South Florida P lovers, this is a great dram. I think everyone should probably have a, get their hands on it. Is uh, I think it's beautiful, beautiful uh, crafted, and so you know I couldn't be more content with this. And you know, do I if you know if I run out of which I will probably pretty soon. I will grab me another bottle because it feels 
really peppery. Tight oh yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, I've, I've had I've had half a bottle to fill with this, and so it's um, only forty three percent, and it feels like in the fifties. Yeah, no, it's really good, man. It's really really good. So anyway, you got anything else for the crowd? No, let's keep on. There's a few more coming. You know, um, just stay tuned. Yeah, this is a great bottle, by the way. It looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, don't be afraid of grabbing. It. It's about 50 bucks. Yep.